Good morning, folks. We finally have something other than a calm star to discuss. The activity may not produce major space weather at Earth, but it's worth checking out anyway. Coming to spaceweathernews.com and seeing the last day on our star, you'll want to watch the northern filaments beginning to depart the Earth-facing disk. One of the leading filaments lifted up to release but broke at the apex rather than the chromosphere, and instead of a CME, we likely have most of the plasma trapped at the corona or below. Solar flaring, anticipating a bit of an increase, but needing to have patience as the Earth-facing disk is still without sunspots, but coming in on the southeastern limb is an active area that could have some spots. We'll likely find out tonight or tomorrow. Solar wind at Earth is delivering more space weather to pay some mind. Not sure if this was the coronal whole stream impact or a co-rotating region between the last two, but it produced only geomagnetic instability. Now, while that's not the storm level conditions we expected, the energy definitely gave Earth a little whack and right on time we had intensification in the tropics. Agatha now flanked by Storm 3, which may get a name today. Good news here is that these systems are heading west, not supposed to come north much at all. Their moisture delivery to the north is another matter, but we'll discuss that in a moment. The storm on the other side of the planet is a bit of a concern, however. It intensified as well, and the previous model outputs are exactly what we see in the storm track now. Eyes open in the Far East. It's no shock that the top quakes of the last day were in the East Pacific, given the Earth spot storms churning nearby. Eyes on Costa Rica, where Torrealba hasn't exactly been quiet lately either. Coronal magnetic field structure confirms that the northern fields are now coming in here in green. They look dark when viewing the sun in 211 angstroms, and we should have an earthquake uptick here soon as well when these hit center longitudes. Quickly coming back to the moisture coming north onto the U.S. from the tropics. The storm that ended the week dropped only rain in the desert, but may have been enough to outduel the severe weather to the northeast for damage. California to western New Mexico felt that one. Folks with David Talbot agreeing to come to the conference, we've got pretty much a full lineup for observing the frontier. There may be one or two more featured guests to come, but as of now, the conference train is departing the station. Can we pick you up along the way? We've got pressure and radar forecasts across the planet, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 3.55 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.